The more time that I spend on YouTube, the weirder it seems to get. For example, the video we're looking at today is called I got a Sony PlayStation 4 kiosk pregnant in back of a U-Haul van. What up, peeps? It's your boy Hex Steve. Welcome back to the channel. And some of you might remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video on this Cuddy Collects fella. Well, you know, I just had to see more, and I'm glad that I did, kind of, because it's, uh, honestly, I think it's the craziest shit that I've ever seen in my life. Bro, bitch that shit. Bitch that shit. Man, I'm taking you to the top of me, fourth kiosk, and with it, three months, put fine with your boy, straight grand slam, man. That's how we do it, man. I'm not I, I, okay, it could be a safety issue to be that excited in traffic. I'm not even playing, man. This is real, man. The fourth, yeah. Y'all see the U Haul, man. Y'all see the drip. Y'all see the drip. Show him the drip one time, man. Yeah, drip, the drip one time. Drip. We ain't playing around, man. man let's go, your boy Cuddy Bane. We out. Show him the city, man. <laughs> Show him the city, man. Take care of my friends, man. Uber XL only. Only fine dine restaurants, you know what I'm saying? Five star, man. If it ain't five star, it ain't right, man. My friends don't. Uh uh. Uh uh. What the hell are you talking about, sir? Uh, five star only, man. This traffic is a real nightmare, man. Giddy up. Yeah! On the road again. Going places that I've never been. Here we go, guys. I'm getting it. Number four. Traffic was pretty bad. It was a struggle, not gonna lie. It was pretty bad. Sitting in traffic for about an hour. So, ass. You know, the last three kiosks I went to go pick up, I was late for each and every one. This is the third one I'm late for. Hopefully this guy's not tripping this message, and we'll see what happens. So we're about an hour, 10 minutes away. Show them how dark it is. It's nighttime, it's dark. We can see how dark it is out of sight of the, the window behind you, or, you know, to your left. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for the clarification with the front dark view there. I operate the best when it's dark like this. I get more power you know i get stronger oh i forgot my special ring bro forgot the ring today it's all right we're still going hey we're still going to do good and so we're about an hour and 10 minutes away and we're going up to modesto california i've never been out there Bam! about 45 minutes away ah! well, what is it's not necessary okay you don't need to be screaming just randomly all right we're only two minutes 25 seconds in let us fall in love first before you start scaring us away all right we just got here we're in modesto we're about uh, six miles out. Oh, I see, I see. He's got one of those yippee pins. We're about uh, six miles out from destination. This dude lives in an apartment complex and he said, park the van somewhere and come up and look at it and see if you want it. Bruh, I'm thinking to myself, I rented this damn van for 200 bucks. Spent all this money on gas, all this time coming out here, hour in traffic to get on the bridge. I'm gonna buy this shit. Also comes with a sick ass sign. My dude, this, this thing got me huffing and puffing. Anyways, not as bad as the other ones. Secured, mission complete. We did it, guys. I didn't have to take the TV off. That's good. I didn't have to take the sides off, so that's good. It wasn't too bad getting up in here. There we go. It's all there. Thanks a lot. You know how desperate you gotta be to, like, drive all that distance and spend all that money on a U-Haul truck just to get a PlayStation kiosk? Kiosk I'm talking to right now, I swear to God. Ain't no other kiosk right now. Ain't no other kiosk gonna get between us. Yeah, well, okay, that's his warning on the video, by the way. I didn't put that up, but, you know, at least he knows that it's fucking weird. I swear, I swear. For real, for real, baby, I'm going to take care of you and go in places. I swear, baby, I'm going to put you on the bent knee. I'm going to put you with the finest gold controller. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, hey, give me some privacy, man. Get your ass out of here. Sorry, baby, this ain't gonna happen once we get in the house. Draw us out of here, fool. This is gonna be the location for the new kiosk right here. Time to oh, shit, it. he's got a few of these things at the house. All right, that's cool. Man, let's do this. You work baby, and we out. Time to unload this baby, high up this door. Like last time, otherwise, we're gonna have problems. Okay, you gotta come ready. That's why I got that rope. Here, man, you try the door down. I'm gonna undress this thing. Ooh, I'm with me, man. Oh, man, I am excited, guys. Well, I should take in the sign first. Oh, shit, I'm Alright, hold on. Let me secure the sign. Does this have sun paint? A little bit, yeah. Let's put that away. Oh, oh, oh man, I'm fucking shit up all the time, man. Okay, let's put this right Wait, here. Wait, hold on a second. Is this his bedroom? For the kiosk. Get this kiosk away. For now. I'm gonna get up there. Okay. 
Okay, great, nice. Put the key back in my pocket. Let's go and load that baby. When I pick up my kiosks, I like to bring big chunks of cardboard to help us slide it or protect it or add a layer between something. I like to bring these straps right here. I can't believe that he listed the stuff that he brought to go pick up this thing in a U-Haul van. Just in case we're gonna lock it down against the sidewalls, but we've never had to do that before because these kiosks are usually really heavy and they usually don't move around because they're just so heavy. So there's no point in ever tying them down. But hey, it doesn't hurt to be ready. Another favorite of mine that I started using after my first kiosk was the blankets. I like bringing the blankets in just as like a layer of protection. Just in case it rolls around, it has blankets to protect the soft spots. So here's what this is looking like. Ooh, oh, more layers. That's how safe I am, man. That's how many precautions I take, dude. Boom, boom, wow. Okay, there we go. Here's what she's looking like. Complete, everything is there. Literally everything, nothing missing. Don't gotta buy no parts for it. It's ready to go, ready to be enjoyed. Oh man, unload this thing from the van to the house all by myself. Really strong, that's why. Is that coming in the game room? No. In the doorway. Careful. This doesn't seem worth it to own these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially like in this particular scenario. Like, I figured like if you had like a garage, you know, you just take it in that big ass garage door. But this man's trying to get it to his bedroom. Maybe he really is gonna try to fuck this thing. Keep in mind, this is probably like one in the morning. Look, look, look! That's his bed right there. He got three kiosks in his bedroom. Well, I hope he loves games, cause he ain't gonna be getting no pussy. Put the side piece of the should be like this, right? Yeah, okay. I think the positioning is good. What is up my dudes, Cuddy Bang here. You know, that, that did not look like a five star bedroom, okay? For a man that speaks so elite about himself with the five star restaurants, the limousines, um, you know, wearing Puma, which I think is, you know, kind of like mid tier, you know, two and a half star out of five stars. I could be wrong about that. Damn, son, you got almost every PlayStation game they ever made. Probably not, but I mean, that's a shit ton. Damn, that's at least 500. Bring it in the house. That was two months ago. So what has changed since then? Well, I've opened the kiosk. I've cleaned it inside and out. I've gotten very familiar with the kiosk. I know it quite well. And the good news about this kiosk is it's 100% complete. Everything's in beautiful shape and there's barely any wear on it. A few little scratches here and there, but hey, for being in a GameStop out of Modesto, California and being in that condition, I'm happy, I'm satisfied, man. That was a great deal that I got it for. I'm ready to show it to you. So let's saddle up, let's go check them out and uh, get ready, dude, because they look freaking great. I'm not even playing, man. They look great, dude. You gotta check these things out. Enough talking, let's get to it. Let's go. Bow, 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 bow. That wasn't necessary, man. over baby 2023 man i am not kidding man let's go your boy cutty bang bow baby this is only the start man bow! Woo! he's got four of them Xbox One kiosk, but this ain't about that, this ain't about that, this ain't about that. It is about this. This is what we're talking about right here. Let's get to this kiosk. Bow, baby. All right, folks, here it is in Owens Glory, the PS4 kiosk in my possession, in my house. Very happy, very thankful. Now, the first thing you might notice about this kiosk is how loud it is. Those are actually the fans, two fans for this particular kiosk, and they're in the back. And the job of the fans is to keep the whole unit cool. This console right here is not the actual PS4 console. This is just a dummy console. The real console console is actually inside the kiosk, but it looks identical to this PS4 right here. They're both the same model, at least from the outside. Now this fake PS4, the dummy console, does have a wire coming out of it, going to the power for the LED light, trying to make it look more realistic. I heard this camera is functional, I haven't tried it yet. This you know, I was promised that he was going to have sex with this thing, and I have yet to see that, and I am disappointed eight minutes into his 20 minute video. I couldn't imagine what the next 13 minutes would hold, and I don't think I want to find out. Well, maybe I'll skip through it. Okay, so he's just like telling us the same shit. I don't know. He's probably screaming. Bow! You know, that that is literally his bed. Like he sleeps in there with them, with that thing, with them things. 
I don't see anything else. Well, you know what, Cuddy? You did it again, man. You made me uh, feel good about myself. So thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I look forward to watching more of your cringe in the future. Man, you got that shit straight in your bedroom. Your girl must really love you because she don't be tripping. Let's see what his reply was. I had to pick between my collection and my girl. It's pretty obvious what I picked, LOL. Well, good sense of humor.